this video i'm going to show you how to get the most realistic paper cutout effect without ever leaving after effects first thing you'd want to do is duplicate your clip and roto out your subject you don't need to be too precise as we want this effect to be grungy once you're done it should look something like this but we can go ahead and duplicate the clip go to the middle one and add the cc ball action effect you're going to want to change the grid spacing to zero the ball size to 80 the coloring to crisp the shading to around 100, the scatter to 0.2, and then the displace to 3 or 4. Next, we're going to add a turbulence displace effect to the same layer. Lower the amount to 36 and the size to around 10. Um, and then we're going to increase the complexity to around 4. And finally, keyframe the evolution from the first frame to the last frame of the clip and do like a few rotations. And we're going to out click this keyframe and use the loop out expression to loop out the animation. Next, you're going to want to add a fast box blur to the same layer once again and set the iterations to 1 and the blur radius to 0.5. We're also going to add a tint effect, which we're going to set to white, as well as a drop shadow effect, which we're going to set to 100% for that crispy black outline. Finally, we're going to add a rough in edges, and we're going to set the preset to rusty, the border to zero, the edge sharpness to around four. These settings are going to remain the same, but change the scale to around 300. And then we're going to keyframe the random seed like we did earlier with the evolution. So keyframe the first and last frame of your clip with different random seed values and then hit the stopwatch icon with a loop out expression. Doing all of that should result in something that looks similar to this. But now we're actually going to play around with the position and scale to make it pop behind the subject. I'm just going to scale it up and center it with the subject. And as you can see, we already have a crazy paper cutout effect. As you can see, the rough and edges is actually optional and it's basically just going to damage the effect a lot more. I prefer when it's turned on, but you can turn it off if you want. As you can see, this is already looking pretty good, but the edges of our subjects are way too sharp. So we're going to have to address that. What you want to do is select your top layer and add the rough and edges effect. We're going to set the preset to rusty once again, but this time around the border to 6.6, .6, the edge sharpness to 1.5, the complexity to around four. And once again, we're going to keyframe the random seed evolution like we just did for the other layer. Now, as you can see, the edges of our subjects are not as sharp and they blend in nicely with the paper texture. Finally, what's going to sell the entire effect is adding a posterized time and setting it to 8 FPS on both layers. Doing so will give it a choppy frame rate, but that is exactly what we want for this effect to look the proper way. You can also grab a animated paper overlay, drag it into the comp, set it as a track math of the middle source clip layer, play around with the scale and set the blending mode to screen and to make sure to turn back on that source clip layer. And don't forget to add a posterized time to the paper texture set to 8 FPS. And here's the final result. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. But if you don't want to have to redo the entire effects chain every single time, what I suggest you do is you actually select all the effects and save it as a .ffx preset to your computer. That'll be it for today, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed and make sure to let me know what tutorials you want to see next. If you're trying to level up your edits, make sure to check the first link in the description down below where you can find all of my packs and plugins. But on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.